So the Retirement Management Advisor, or RMA program, is an advanced certification for retirement management. That includes retirement income, retirement planning, risk mitigation, risk management. It also involves, involves a lot of frameworks that advisors can use not only to communicate with their clients, but also to develop the technical skills they need to serve their clients well and produce the best outcomes. So the program is really outcome oriented as opposed to expectation oriented. And I think that's where it really stands out. And the other thing is that advisors that have a, a repeatable, actionable, defensible process are gonna be in a better position to uh, accommodate their needs, also accommodate the needs of their firms uh, or the needs of, of themselves as they're managing in, uh, their practice. And so overall, we're looking for better outcomes for not only for the advisor, but also for the client as well. And what stood out to me in the curriculum for the RMA program is that it's built from a client's perspective and it's validated from a client's perspective. So even some of the terms uh, that they use are really resonate with those clients in a way that helps them not only commit to a retirement plan, but also be bought into it and ultimately keep that plan even when there are times that are rough. And there, that adds a lot of value to the advisor-client relationship. Those clients tend to be stickier, tend to be able to retain their assets more, but you can also have better conversations with those clients when you're speaking the same language. And so those frameworks within the curriculum I think are extremely valuable. The content itself is also somewhat technical. It can get fairly advanced. So there are some requirements before somebody pursues the designation. Um, but ultimately, the benefits of the RMA program is that you, you do result in very specialized knowledge. Retirement planning is different than any other type of investment or wealth management. And the difference is because the client's mindset is very different. You, uh, because when you're managing investments or wealth, you really have more of that accumulation mindset, really maximizing and optimizing wealth. But the retirement clients have very unique risks and very unique mindsets that they're really concerned about. And that has to do with thinking of the decumulation mindset. So this specialized knowledge in the decumulation phase of retirement planning is, uh, is exceptionally valuable in the competency of an advisor and that relationship between the client and the advisor. It also gives you credibility. The RMA program was designed to be sort of a complete framework. Um, it's not product oriented. It doesn't have conflicts from product providers. Um, it's advanced in the sense that it's the, the necessary and required knowledge and skill to be competent in this area where potentially other designations fall short. It's differentiated because, again, most credentials out there really focus on the investment planning side of things or maybe the comprehensive wealth planning, but not necessarily the specific income and retirement risk needs that retirement clients have. Um, certainly, you go through an, an executive education program with other professionals. You have an opportunity to network and discuss and analyze and, and uh, communicate with other advisors that are going through some of the same questions that you have. And then finally, you know, from an ethical perspective, there's a need for ethical uh, retirement management in this industry. Unfortunately, some advisors have earned a bad reputation for advising retirement clients. Uh, which is why you know, some regulatory uh, frameworks exist at a state and federal level uh, to really manage the retirement planning process. And I'll just add that for somebody to, to pursue the RMA program, you need to have at least three years of, of relevant experience. Uh, you do need to go through a, a clean background check uh, at the beginning of the program. First, you go through an education program. Once you're approved and you've, uh, you've applied for the program, you go through a, a short personal self-study period. It's all online. It's a series of readings and recorded lectures, some quizzes and activities and case studies to kind of help cement uh, some of the concepts within the curriculum. And this is really where the bulk of your learning is gonna come. It's highly supported by the Investments and in Wealth Institute. Uh, you have a lot of resources to help you get through that portion of the program. And, um, and it's, it's really quite uh, uh, informative and interactive as you're going through that experience. The next step is to go through an executive education, what we call capstone. It's a two-day program. It's usually aligned with one of our other conferences. And so uh, you have a, a track of sessions that you go through over the period of two days. And you'll hear from retirement uh, industry experts, you'll hear from academics, 
You'll hear from practitioners. Much of it is aligned with the RMA curriculum itself to reinforce some of the things that you've already learned. And some of the other, some of the other sessions and titles are, uh, and topics are, are really designed to add context to the retirement planning trends that are happening today, really to make you a better advisor. And once you've completed the two-day capstone experience, you're, you're eligible to then take the exam. It's 100 questions. We give you three hours to take the exam. You have the opportunity to take it on site at the capstone program, or if you prefer not to, you can actually take it online with an online proctored service. And we've had good feedback on both models, and so it's really up to you to decide which one works best for you. Once you've completed the examination, we uh, have some paperwork for you to sign, most especially uh, a commitment to adhere to the uh, Code of Professional Responsibility from the Investments and Wealth Institute and uh, fill out a additional paperwork. From there, once you're RMA certified, you uh, go through a renewal process or a recertification process every two years. And uh, from that, you have to achieve the uh, continuing education uh, requirements, which are 40 hours of CE for over two years. Some of those CE have specific requirements for it as well. You need to still go through an ethics disclosure and a background check every two years to continue to be recertified. And then, of course, pay a certification fee to help keep the lights on at the Institute so that we can better serve the other advisors in the industry. And finally, the RMA body of knowledge is, uh, I think, a very well-rounded, um, comprehensive approach to retirement planning. First, you start off with sort of a client diagnostic process. You're really trying to understand and ask the right questions of these clients, really trying to understand what their household balance sheet looks like. And the household balance sheet is a concept that is central to the rest of the program in terms of understanding the unique needs of the client, what their capacity to take risk is, and ultimately where those areas of planning they'll benefit from the most and the areas that you can add the most value. Finally, we, uh, uh, next we go through a retirement life cycle plan, really trying to understand what their retirement looks like from a behavioral perspective, what they plan and want to do how they can achieve those goals with the financial assets that they have, and also, again, addressing the unique behavioral needs that a retiree has in going from an accumulation mindset to a decumulation mindset. Next, you see all the technical information that you'll need to literally build the retirement plan. And that's not just from an investment perspective. You're also building kind of a more of a financial planning model that's going to include decisions like Social Security, Medicare, health care decisions, addressing longevity issues, addressing other types of risks that are going to come up into the planning process. And then finally, there are some tips and best practices and documents that are really practical that you can take right off the shelf and start implementing into your practice today with immediate results. And that's one of the benefits of having a program like this is it's really a good mix of academic knowledge with practical knowledge that you can use right away. So the process to become an RMA is actually quite easy. Uh, we say it takes about six to nine months for the average advisor to go through. We've seen some go through it as, in as little as two or three months, and we've certainly seen take, people take a little bit uh, longer extra time with it. Um, if you're interested in, in applying for the program, you can reach out to our offices. We have people that can help you decide whether this is the program for you. They can help you decide whether the timing is right and they may be able to accommodate other uh, needs and constraints that you might have as well. Uh, if you take a look at the website, it has all of the information regarding the schedules of some of these capstone events as well, it has all of the pricing and so forth. Certainly, uh, a lot of people participate this, in this program by virtue of the firm that they work for. So depending on the firm that you have, uh, that you work for, there may be um, you know, groups of, of individuals that are going through this program as well and we can help you decide whether that's the right way to go or not.